Jesus Christ, the carpenter. Jesus was also called the man, like he was a man to be very admired. Look up Mark 6, 3. Look up John 19, 5. So when they called him the carpenter, it was with respect for his reputation as a carpenter. If he had been a shoddy carpenter, then they would have referred to him as something else, would they not? So he was first a carpenter with a respectable reputation, and then he entered the ministry. If he had, Jesus Christ, if he had had a shady past as a carpenter, that would certainly have come up from his enemies. Amen? So like with Daniel, his enemies had to try and nail him in some religious shenanigans. Look up Daniel chapter 6, verses 4 and 5 on that. Number one, experience working for a living. That's the first thing you should do. If you're going to preach to men who work for a living and are going through uh, the trials and hardships of working for a living in a secular job, you ought to know all about it and have experience in it. Otherwise, you're just like a parade ground peacock preaching to men who are going to go onto the battlefield or are in the battlefield. What would you have to say? What could you tell them? And they're not going to have any respect for you. So first of all, have experience working for a living. Number two, you need to do that job and have done that job in a masterful manner. When they refer to you at, for whatever, if you were the carpenter, you were the plumber, you were the furniture mover, you were the insurance salesman, whatever you were, they ought to refer to you, oh, that's that, that's that carpenter over there. Yeah, he's a preacher now. They ought to know that, number two, you did that job in a masterful manner. Then, and only then, number three, enter the full-time ministry. You enter the full-time ministry after working, having experience working a secular job, a regular job like your congregation. Doing that job in a masterful manner, number two, then number three, entering the full-time ministry. I know men, I know men, carpenters in fact, whose past as a carpenter was so crooked and so rotten that even the lost viewed them as a scumbag. Then that individual, the scumbag, then they became a local pastor Think about that. Don't let that be your case. It wasn't Jesus Christ's case. It wasn't Daniel's case. It wasn't Paul's case. Paul was a tent maker, remained a tent maker, and still had a reputation as a good tent maker after the fact. You never find any place where someone tries to nail Paul on shoddy work that he did in the past as a tent maker or shoddy work that he was doing in the present. Let that sink in. 